Mm -hmm. uh, cause other people might want to see it. Okay, so um, I'm going to do it with a. Well, I'll just go through the whole React setup because it might as well we're in we're in phase two. Um, so let me just make sure a terminal here. That's it. Okay. Uh, CD dot dot CD dot dot. Okay, so I'll just share the whole thing. Um, okay, so first thing, I don't remember how to do this, so I'm just going to look up, create a new React app, and React.js, and PX create React app, and then this is the name, so this is going to be just basic setup, uh, NPX create React app, so I could have done some copying and pasting basic project setup sample. Exciting name. Okay, fine. I guess I didn't have create React app on my computer. Um, okay, so this is going to create a basic React app, which will give me, which is the starting point for you regardless. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not really focusing in this on what we're going to do with that because that comes in a, later. Um, what I want to do is just get my my DB JSON working. So while it's doing that, I'm just going to look up JSON server. That's enough, probably. Get a full fake REST API with 30 seconds. Yowza. Mm -hmm. Okay, install JSON server, create a DB JSON, launch it, boom. Okay, and I'm going to copy and paste their thing. I'm going to take out some stuff because this is going to have multiple routes, but I can at least show you what that looks like. But eventually, you're basically just going to have one set of objects. Okay. Oh my goodness, a couple of minutes. Well, here, I don't need to wait. Terminal, uh, new window. Oh, it's working. It's fine. I get it. Just wait here. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Uh, might as well. Well, first, I need to CD into it. Basic. Project setup example, and then I'll do code dot, and then I'm going to go ahead and open my terminal that's in the folder that I'm in. Great. And then I'm going to switch back to these notes npm install dash g json server. I might have already done this. But again, if you haven't, so the dash G is a tag that just means global. It's not just installing JSON server in this folder, but it's my whole computer has access to this. Mm -hmm. um, okay. You know, change. Well, my updated something. Um, okay. So now I am ready to just a quick point about package JSON, package lock, and the node modules. These, this file and the node modules are created from NPM install. That's already happened because, and that's what took so long in the terminal. So this has already been done. It's ready to roll. In fact, if I do NPM start, I think there's probably enough there to work where we're able to fight. Yeah. And it's got, so we have a React app that's working. Mm -hmm. This stuff is happening because of code that's already preloaded. So it's got to go to source, look at the app.js. This is the stuff that's making this happen. Mm -hmm. And so obviously that's where you're going to do your React coding. Right. But we're focused on building a, a working dbjson. So create a dbjson file. Okay, next step. So here, create a new file. I'm in the source. I actually don't want to be in source. I want to be at the top level. No. Oh. 
How do I get out of that? How do I get out of that? Click on read me. There we go. TV. Uh, JSON. Good. All right. Um, then I'm going to copy this, paste this. And now I'm going to. Now, this is something that could happen. So I'm glad I did NPM start. This is running on port 3000 which is often the default port. I'm gonna open up a new terminal and I'm gonna do this next line of code. I want you to see what happens. Because I'm gonna have a problem. I thought I would have a problem because it's the same, it's the same, it's the same port. Same so port. I'm, I'm curious about what's happening now. Did I shut the other one down? Nope. Okay. So, oh, I was just looking at a different window. Hold on a second. Uh, so I'm going to go to localhost 3000 and just see localhost 3000. Okay. Interesting. Well, I did not expect that to happen. It's not good for them to be on the same port. So what actually needs to happen is for me to, to add a port tag on the end of this. So if I type in JSON server port, uh, let me just go to this medium. That's the standard. Okay, but this person was very lazy. Oh, now they changed like <laughs> very basic things. It's almost exactly the same as the documentation. Here we go. Dash, dash, port, whatever. So I can change my port. Let me shut down my control C and I'm going to do it again. Press up dash dash port 3001. So now this is operating on 3001, which means if I go to my browser uh, there, and I change this to three, or I keep this on 3000. Okay, now React is back, which is good. That's where I want this. And my mm -hmm. back end, my DBJSON is running on 3001. Now 3001 still brings me up a blank page because it's actually, there's, that's not enough. I need to say 3001 slash whatever. And it, post comments and profile are my options. Again, you're going to boil this down to one thing. So... For instance, if I settled on doing a bunch of posts, then I could go to my dbjson, take out this stuff, take out this comma, and start adding new posts. And copy and paste, be lazy. Mm -hmm. Right. Two, three, four, five. Oops. Yep, and I'm paying attention up here to that red flag that told me there was an error before I tried it. This is how you set up a server for yourself so that when you make your fetch, this is the very first thing that really happens as you start working. You set up your dbjson, you fire up the server, then you go and you make a fetch to the server, and then you load it up in state. So that's how you get the data so that you can do whatever you're going to do in your app. Okay. Gotcha. Make sense? Yeah. 